Alright, largest single group of migrants ever tunnels under border wall, CBP. The largest single group of, of asylum seekers ever to cross into U.S. tunneled beneath the border wall near San Luis, Arizona on Monday, voluntarily turning themselves into the Customs and Border Protection officials. Migrants can be seen marching towards Border Patrol agents by the hundreds. According to the video obtained by ABC News, smugglers dug a series of seven holes only a few feet along beneath the steel border fence, with hundreds be uh, going beneath the wall and a smaller number clambering over it. The fresh sand and scuff marks of shoes and rusty steel were still there when ABC News visited the site on Thursday. Now look at all those guys just turning themselves in. <laughs> it's like once they go into the United States, that's it. They made it. That's crazy, right? But it's happening. It's, it's happening, guys. The agency says 179 of the record 376 people who were who crossed were children, including over 30 unaccompanied accompanied minors, children under 18 traveling on their own. The overall number of unauthorized crossings has plummeted since its peak in the 2001 when CBP logged about 1.6 million apprehensions, according to the government statistics. However, the demography for those crossing has changed dramatically. Parents with children now comprise over 80% of the total apprehensions of those crossings the 2,000 mile long border with Mexico. The vast majority of them, like the group near Yuma Monday, surrendered immediately or they even seeked out border patrol agents in order to begin the asylum process. CBP Yuma Border Sector Chief Anthony Porza Porvanzik said his unit needs better border barriers, but more urgently needs more funding to provide for these families. <laughs> That's our number one challenge that we have here in the Yuma sector, is the humanitarian problem. As I mentioned, 87% of the apprehensions here are family units and unaccompanied alien children. So seven tunnels were dug underneath the border one near Arizona on Monday, January 14th, 2019, as a record group of migrants entered the U.S. The mass crossing this week took place in a, sep in a sparsely uh, populated stretch of the border where an old model of border barrier rises about 12 feet from the sandy ground and stretched, uh, the stretched agency only had three agents patrolling the 26 mile long section of the border. Three agents. Three agents. It took us hours to process the families, most of which were sent to the area's chronically overcrowded Central Processing Center in Yuma. In my 30 years with the Border Patrol, I have not been part of arresting a group of 376 people. That's really unheard of. On Thursday, hundreds of asylum seekers were being held in cinder block cells with thick glass windows that overlooked the central bullpen where CBP agents worked to process them and provide humanitarian needs. The asylum seekers were separate, separated into cells. Fathers with sons, fathers with daughters, unaccompanied minors, and mothers with children. As in all such facilities, the CBP said it works to process them as quickly as possible and provides basic medical care. Still, detainees eat, sleep, and use the bathroom in the same room. Scraps of food mingled with silvery space blankets on the floor. In one cell, several boys had balled up the blankets into a makeshift soccer ball they were kicking around. Those are the migrants that you can see on the line that are turning themselves into the Border Patrol. One man in the group said he left Guatemala eight days ago and made most of the trip by bus along with the 12-year-old daughter. They were planning to leave the processing center distant for San Diego, plane ticket in hand. The father, wait, what? They were planning to leave the processing center destined for San Diego, plane ticket in hand. Well, how the hell did they get a plane ticket? What the? <laughs> the father said he saved about 5000 to pay a coyote to quickly get them to the border. He left a wife and two younger daughters back in Guatemala. Next to them were a mother and two daughters on their way to Cincinnati, also from Guatemala. They too traveled by bus and the journey took about eight days. Just two days after the group tunneled under the border wall in Yuma, the border patrol took in another huge group of migrants in New Mexico. The 247 person group, including unaccompanied minors, crossing near the Antelope Wells port of entry and immediately surrendered to authorities for processing. The CB CBP said 24 large group quant quant quantified as 100 or more have crossed the border near Lordsburg, New Mexico just since October 1, 2018. 
five thousand dollars this guy paid five thousand that's the rate that's the going rate now and it cost five thousand because he had he had someone he had a, a child with him it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't matter if they're a kid if they're a baby they charge for each human that guy would have paid three thousand dollars or two thousand five hundred to three thousand dollars if, if he wasn't carrying um an, like a baby or or another child with him but it was two it was two humans so it, it, it's about five thousand yeah that is that's correct that's the going rate nowadays and what's crazy is that I, I thought it would be higher because they're um they're you know they're foreign but ah eh, business is business and it is booming my, my my ladies and gentlemen viewers this is crazy I'm wondering how they got how she got that plane ticket though said she was wanting to go to San Diego to process her stuff because she knows California is a sanctuary state all right let's watch this video real quick of the shutdown is the battle over the border and this morning there's a new government report that says thousands more children children were possibly separated from their parents by immigration authorities than were previously thought the report saying the total number is quote unknown because of poor communication between federal agencies our chief national correspondent matt gutman has more at the border in yuma arizona good morning matt good morning michael that report also says that children were separated from their parents even before it became official policy that as we've learned that the single biggest group of asylum seekers to cross into the u.s tunneled beneath this border just a few miles from here smugglers dug 14 holes seven of them actually worked and nearly 400 people scooted across before being detected by Border Patrol. This morning, that exclusive new video, the biggest group of asylum-seeking families ever to cross into the U.S., and all 376 mostly Central Americans crawled through tunnels beneath this wall on Monday. And they were only detected by authorities once they squeezed through seven holes dug by smugglers. And then they waited for the Border Patrol to pick them up. Yuma, Arizona Sector wow. Chief Anthony Provoznik took us there. There was 176 kids in that group of 376. So quite a few kids in there and a lot of little kids. While the total number of unauthorized crossings has plummeted, the numbers of parents with children are on track to quadruple from just over two years ago. As our number one challenge that we have here in the Yuma sector is the humanitarian problem. As I mentioned, 87 percent of the apprehensions here are family units and unaccompanied alien children. And in the couple of hours we were with the sector chief, more asylum seekers. In this surveillance video, you can see them scamper into the U.S. and file in line to wait for the border patrol. To get people across, smugglers have burrowed beneath that wall. They've climbed over it. They've cut through it, even pulled it down in parts. Now, what the border oh patrol God. says it needs most is a barrier system, one that includes sensors in the ground and better camera systems to exactly. asylum seekers as they come through, Michael. All right, thank you so much, Matt. And just hope they reunite those families. Yeah, I forget about that, bro. Sorry to say that, but what I tell you guys? Yeah, a border wall might do it, but you guys already have a border wall. You guys already have a, a wall. You know what I mean? You could upgrade it. You know what I'm saying? You could upgrade it by drones, cameras, more un more agents, because there's only three patrolling that area. You know what I'm trying to tell you guys? You get...